There's growing concern tonight about a new wave of attacks by Russian hackers targeting U.S. institutions. You know, as Brian Todd is working the story for us, so Brian, it's everybody seems to believe these attacks couldn't be happening without Vladimir Putin's blessing. Very, very likely they are happening with this blessing, Wolf, because Microsoft says the U.S. government has identified the hackers as being part of Russia's foreign intelligence service. Tonight we have new information on the breach and the targets. Tonight, new reports that Vladimir Putin's army of hackers is again targeting America. Microsoft announcing that the same hackers behind the massive solar winds attack last year are at it again. Microsoft says the U.S. government has identified the perpetrators as being from Russia's top foreign intelligence service, the SVR. This time, Microsoft says they breached as many as 14 IT providers, seeking access to their cloud customers, governments, think tanks, and other companies. Maybe it's information that they can operationalize and use for blackmail or exploitation. Maybe it's information that could give them a competitive edge in, in economic negotiations or in research and development. It's not clear how successful this latest attack has been. But David Sanger of the New York Times, which first reported the story, says it presents a new level of threat from Russian hackers. What the Russians have consistently tried to do with the solar winds attack uh, back at the uh, end of last year and with this one is to get into the supply chain, the infrastructure that supports all of these systems rather than try to break into your account and my account and everybody else's rather get into some system that will allow them to do it in mass. Earlier this year, the White House blamed that same Russian spy agency for the solar winds attack, which breached thousands of users and sought to alter software used by the U.S. government and large companies. At a summit in June, President Biden warned Putin to stop. I pointed out to him we have significant cyber capability. And he knows it. He doesn't know exactly what it is, but it's significant. And if, in fact, they violate these basic norms, we will respond. The cyber. He knows. In the cyber way. But since then, despite more U.S. sanctions and expulsions this year, and another Biden warning to Putin by phone in July, not only has there been this latest hack, but also more election misinformation efforts. Look what Russia is doing already about the 2022 elections and misinformation. It's a pure violation of our sovereignty. Putin keeps crossing Biden's red lines on cyber attacks and is flexing his muscle ahead of this week's G20 summit in Rome, even though he won't be there in person. Putin's an intelligence officer. He, he was in the agency that is currently uh, being accused of having infiltrated our networks. I don't think we're ever going to persuade Vladimir Putin to stop engaging in intelligence gathering. Uh, he's been doing it since he was uh, a teenager. The Kremlin has consistently denied any involvement in these cyber attacks. As for any possible U.S. response this time, U.S. officials have not publicly discussed retaliation, and analysts say they likely wouldn't discuss it. But cybersecurity experts say American cyber warriors almost certainly are going to be targeting the Russians in response to this one, Wolf.